Hello there, you guys. Welcome back. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday thus far. Um, so before I actually like begin and forget, um, if you guys were on the stream yesterday or if you watched the video back on YouTube now, uh, you may have heard all the drilling that was going on that I was blaming on my upstairs neighbors. 90% uh, sure that wasn't them. Um, turns out they're actually doing work on the outside of my building. Uh, and there's these guys who are going up and down in scaffolding. Um, and doing work on the outside brick of the apartment building. <laughs> and it's really loud. It's been going off and on all morning. Um, so if I suddenly mute myself or if you hear a weird noise, chances are that's what it is. Um, so far this afternoon... I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's been happening all morning and I have such a headache. Um, but I it's their job. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, so if I suddenly mute myself, that's why. I I really want to do a long stream today. I want to play a lot of ACNL and then I want to switch over into population growing. But if it keeps happening, I'm probably just going to be like, we'll play later. Or maybe we'll do like a late night stream or something. And now there's hammering. <laughs> so sorry. Um, you guys, everyone has permission to hug me. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so I'm so sorry if that's really, really loud. Just imagine how loud it is for me. <laughs> that's hammering too. The hammering was new from earlier. It, it really is. I'm so tempted to just come back and do a late night stream, but I probably will pass out before then because I'm tired. <laughs> Any moment now. Are we good? Alright, maybe we're good. <laughs> it's not their fault, like, I'm just- it's- it, it sucks. I work from home, this type of stuff happens. And they're being really considerate about it because they're doing it during a time when most people are at school, most people are at work. And it's just, I work from home, so <laughs> this is what I gotta deal with. Um, they did go on lunch earlier, yeah, Pepper, they did go on lunch earlier, and now they're back. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for the hugs. I'm so sorry. I don't want that to ruin the stream today, but we'll see how things go. Uh, but anyways, uh, whoop, there's the right button. Welcome back to memory. I changed the background color, but I'm not sure if I like it or not. I'm trying to go for something fallish, but I didn't want to go like bright orange. So this is what we're at right now. It's very, very pink or like salmon color almost. Um. I don't know. I don't know if I like it for, for fall. We need fall colors. Um, but yeah, welcome back you guys. Welcome back to memory. Last time, the last time we played was actually last Tuesday. Uh, cause I took the day off on Saturday. Do you like a pastel orange? I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can. Um, so I, I don't remember what we did last week other than the fact that we found out the Thank you so much for the sub! Gracie Boo, thank you. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you so very much. I'm so sorry. If I suddenly go quiet, if... Mods, is there any way you could make a command really quickly that just is like... Drilling or something like that? Exclamation mark drilling and says Crystal's muting herself because there's construction going on. Bear with. Just for people who are coming in and don't know. Because I feel bad just suddenly... Suddenly going on mute and just being like you know, staring at the camera awkwardly. <laughs> um, yeah, Grace Duke, thank you so very much. I hope you enjoy your heart and chat. I hope you enjoy your emotes, and thank you so much for, for doing that. You could have used that anywhere. Drilling rig? That's the joke Random's been making. <laughs> and Pepper. Um, that hammering's gonna get real annoying. Um, so last time what we did was we found out that we had the maximum amount of public works projects. So we actually got rid of the flower clock here and I think something else I can't remember. 
Um, and I really want to put down the illuminated clock in this space because someone suggested it. Uh, Bez, I'm not gonna say this username right. Bez does. Bez does me? I'm not saying your name right. I'm so sorry. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. Do you still stream full time? I do indeed. I do indeed. Well, technically, I stream and do YouTube full time, um, which is why I don't say, for example, stream for eight hours. I do other stuff in the background. Maybe they're excavating diamonds, just like low key real life Minecraft. <laughs> You forget to unmute yourself and end up telling a whole story. Oh, Shroud Cherry, no, that'll happen. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's the sign of a true streamer if you've forgotten to unmute yourself. <laughs> hey, Epic Joy. How's it going? Welcome on in, everyone. I assume that the drilling sounds like me when I have a brain fire. <laughs> Just like cogs really fast turning in your head. Hey, Merciful Man. Uh. Ellie's New Leaf, hello! Welcome on in! How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming on over. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only plan I have for today is put down the illuminated clock here because we have the illuminated trees on the other side and you guys were saying it might actually look really good. Um, we have a new path from a little while ago. That was, I think, last Saturday? Saturday before last, maybe? Maybe it was last... I don't remember when we did this. We did this a while ago. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do our dailies first, though. Really? <laughs> Sign of them wanting a drilling rig. Oh my god, random. <laughs> what are days? I don't know, man. Days are complicated and confusing. Um, let's see here. Dearest Crystal, how are you doing? I had something important to tell you, but I completely forgot what it was while I was deciding which stationery to use. Oh well, I'll write later. I actually really like the stationery she chose. <laughs> Uh, yes, Alpentar, I did, yes. <laughs> I saw, I think it was Liz retweeted it, and I'm like, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Make you a Starbucks run. Anyone need anything? Um, more, more iced coffee from McDonald's if you pass by one, because this is kind of my jam at the moment. Uh, Padfoot, I was thinking we might actually end up time traveling today, because there's three... Uh, actually, I should say one fish and two deep sea creatures we can catch today, but it's like later on in the evening, not now. So we might end up time traveling. Ah, uh, Clayton, thank you so much for the prime four months. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back. Um, and what are you? You are two months away from a new sub badge. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm missing a little bit of chat up here, though. I had a mod started today and I'm I'm a changed being. I appreciate that. I never like I know how to apply mods, I don't know how to make my own. <laughs> um, let me see. Also, it's gotten suspiciously quiet with the drilling since I have started talking, so hopefully that's a good sign. <laughs> it, okay, apparently Eric is using the exact same stationery. Excuse me, Crystal, will you help me with my crossword puzzle? What's a nine letter word for a type of puzzle that uses clues to fill in missing words? It starts with the letter C. I don't know. I don't know, Eric. What could it possibly be? <laughs> You're attempting the noise fate now. I am. I am a little bit. Currently very confused with my math homework. Oh no, best of luck. I'm, I'm terrible at math, honestly. Like, I'm very, very bad at it. Never could quite get a lot of it, so I feel you. <laughs> Crossfit. <laughs> I think you're missing a couple letters there. Crossbow. Again, a couple letters. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and look for our fossils. Also, it looks like the grass has changed color a little bit more since the last time we played, so it matches our new path just a little bit better now. Which I'm really happy about. You want a double chocolate chip frappe. That sounds really good. I don't really... I don't go to Starbucks or coffee places often because I don't usually get coffee. So whenever I do go, I'm like really awkward and I don't know what to order and I don't even know what the sizes from Starbucks mean like I just I'm living my best life <laughs> and that's apparently not with coffee hi uh so I've got some big news I'm moving no you're not <laughs> no you're not you have that Eggman jacket on you're not allowed to leave uh don't go coffee doesn't agree with you at all 
I'm just generally not too into it, but like if it's like an iced coffee and it has ridiculous amounts of cream and sugar in it, I'm good. Got attacked by Mother Nature today. Thorns and nettles everywhere. I'm poking through my clothes. Ooh. Oh, that makes me itchy. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Hey, cat. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, okay. Let me see here. What, what have we got going on? What have we got going on in memory today? This area feels so empty without <laughs> without that uh that clock there. You never go to Starbucks. It makes me feel anxious. Too many choices. If I do go, it's because someone else is going and I'm just going with them. And then I feel really awkward about what I order. So I always get the same thing. Or at least I always used to. I forget what it is now. <laughs> used to work at Starbucks when I was in school. It is intimidating, but you can always say small, medium, large, and they'll know. You can also ask about no or low caffeine drinks. Yeah, that's probably what I should do, but it's, it's all the social interaction, I think, for me. <laughs> Um, also, Anime Gamer, by the way, thank you so much for the host. Oh, uh, let me see. Wait, I need Colton. Bring him my way, he's in need. <laughs> hey, India, how are you doing? I've been to Starbucks once, just once. They spelled my name right, it felt weird. <laughs> they don't usually get mine wrong, so I'm pretty good. This is bad. I've got a package that is meant for Astrid, and I really want to open it and see what's inside, but that would be so wrong. You have to help me resist the temptation to snoop. Will you please take this package away from me and deliver it to Astrid? I gotcha. So, Pluto, welcome on in. Passion Ice Tooth Lemonade is a great non-coffee- Ooh, that actually does sound really good. Breaking into Bob's house, like, low-key. Just being like, hello. <laughs> Starbucks is so expensive, I really enjoy milk coffee at normal cafeterias. Uh, it's a mood for fall. I don't- I've never really been into, like, the seasonal drinks too much. With the exception of, like, maybe, like, a mint hot chocolate here and there, but, like, that's- that's as far as I usually go. HP, hello, how you doing? Mm, okay, so there's nothing there that I wanted. Was I working on these last time, or did I just kind of stop watering them? Uh, I think I stopped watering them. Okay, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll water some of these. What's the pumpkin spice latte? And what's a latte? I, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a latte is. I do know what pumpkin spice is, and I'm not a really big fan. But I know it's a very popular drink. <laughs> McDonald's always has the seasonal summer milkshake of different tastes each year, and they're usually the best. I, uh, I got a smoothie. I, this is a Canadian thing, but I got a smoothie from Tim Hortons, which is our coffee chain, uh, this past weekend. Uh, John Smith, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. And, uh, it was so disappointing because it was so obviously, like, a, um artificial flavors sort of thing. It, it didn't taste that great, and I was a little bit sad. <laughs> coffee with a lot of milk. Pretty much milky coffee. That sounds like my sort of thing. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Oh, it's spelt with a Y? Yeah. This year's red fruit. Not sure what was in there, but it was amazing. I still long for my mango pear milkshake that never returned. It kind of sucks that they don't bring back the flavors every summer as well and just add in new ones, but I can somewhat understand why. Uh, okay, nothing there. Also, how's audio levels, by the way, you guys? I didn't ask today. I'm uh, behind on my asking game. <laughs> Recently tried Timmy's pumpkin spice ice cap. They're actually really nice. I should get Mike to try it, because he's into ice caps. I'm not really. What audio? Just suddenly everything's silence. <laughs> Without the drilling, I think it's good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Got a new monitor for free from a friend. I just need to buy the cord for it so someone will be able to play Minecraft on one screen and watch streams. Oh, that's awesome. And forewarning, you're not going to be able to go back to single monitor after using two. 
That's that was my experience. It's it's addictive and it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, she wants to give me a different nickname. Sure. Fancy C, heck yeah. That, ooh. That sounds a lot like fantasy, and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Cozy Quartz? Hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Or fancy toilets. <laughs> or fancy toilets. Let's not forget about that. Astrid's on to you. <laughs> Well, what's this? It sounds really bougie and I'm intrigued. <laughs> I ordered a patchwork dresser. That actually wouldn't look too bad in her house. Earthy knit shirt. Okay, thank you. Midge, best burb. So nice outside today, it kind of makes me feel like sunbathing. Oh, I think she wanted furniture. Kevin and Boz spend a lot of time together. I wish they'd let me join them. But I suppose three would be a crowd. No, you join them anytime you want. Make it British, Astrid. <laughs> uh, Fancy C versus Fantasy coming to your cinema 2020. <laughs> That is so epic and intense at the same time. I'm okay with this. Uh, Clementine, thank you so much for that two month race up. Thank you. You were one month away from a new heart badge in chat. And I hope you continue to enjoy being here, enjoy using the emotes. Thank you so very much for that. That's very much appreciated. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Blue Bear. I forgot we changed her catchphrase to blue. <laughs> What's the word of memory, Belsy? Come on, I'm dying to hear the latest gossip. Hmm. You're not talking. Oh, you must be keeping a sworn secret. Spill the beans. No, no, I'm not spilling any tea here. Or beans, for that matter, but mainly the tea. <laughs> How was my Mackies? It was really good. It was really, really good. Um, the fries weren't too salted, and... My iced coffee is done properly, which is always good. And Sahara can't figure out how to get past that bush. It's fine though. We all have days. It's it's good. <laughs> Hi, Dino. How's it going? And Sparks, I hope you had a good day at school. You have McDonald's? I did. I did. I think I've seen your face in one week. Really? Oh, wait, actually, yeah, no, that makes sense. I don't think we found her last time. Doing some major time traveling in my game so I can get all the bugs and fish before- Oh, before you put down New Leaf, yeah. Did Mama Crystal enjoy her? She did! She did! She was super grateful when I went out there and I'm like, Hey, I ordered us McDonald's and she's like, Awesome, I didn't know what I wanted for lunch. <laughs> Caught in the bushes of memory. <laughs> uh, have you ever gotten the bean items from Harvey? I did! Um, they're really useful for scaring away fish when you're trying to catch a certain one, so that's what I've been using them for. You're getting some ice cream thing from KFC in a bit. Ooh, I don't know if our KFCs here have like ice cream-esque things at all, actually. Wonder if they'll fix that villagers running into walls thing in New Horizon. I really hope the villagers in New Horizons are a little bit more intelligent. I guess their AI is mm, not always the best. <laughs> Hey, I got a job for you. Will you bury a time capsule for me? See, I heard it's good luck to get someone else to bury it for you. This might surprise you, but I'm actually pretty superstitious. Actually, I don't think I've read that dialogue before. That's interesting. Gosh, my nose is so itchy. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just having allergies today. I forgot Phoebe's catchphrase was tips public works project. <laughs> All right, man. Maybe we'll just change Phoebe's to Public Works Project when she gives us what we- I've never seen her singing in her own house before. How have I not seen that? That was weird. <gasps> Emma, you get that McDonald's. Treat yourself. <laughs> when I asked my mom to bring one back for me, I'm pretty sure I was mixing it up. 
Oh, with Burger King? Yeah, see, I expect that from Burger King. I wouldn't expect it from KFC. And, uh, Evie Key, hello, how are you doing? Now Sahara's trying to figure out the river. The bridge is right here. You can take the bridge. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You're 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 on your way. Oh no, wrong way. Okay. She'll get there. <laughs> uh JKP Frog, thank you so very much. These emotes, I can't stop using them. Come on, your lovely streams. How could I not resub? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed being here. I'm glad you enjoyed the emote. Hopefully I can add in some new ones for you guys soon. Um that people like even more. <laughs> thank you though. She struggles with life. It's a mood. Honestly, yeah. She's planning for when she gets to eat herself over the river. Aren't we all at this point? Are we all ready to start pole vaulting everywhere? It's called ultimate ice cream and only had two flavors, so maybe it's a new thing. Maybe. Maybe. Someone worked out the new leaf script is- Oh my goodness, that's a lot of words. How many email slots do we have? I think we have one extra at the moment, maybe two? Open? I just- I've been kind of slowly adding in emotes as I go. <laughs> Ready to pull- Oh look, she figured out the bridge! Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ready to pull Vault away from my responsibilities, yes. Yes, I am- I am with you on that one. I wonder if you can glitch New Horizons to pull vault across the ground. <laughs> just pull vaulting everywhere you go. I'm I'm honestly kind of intrigued to see how they handle the pole vaulting in certain situations. Because in the most recent trailer, we did see that there were trees right up against a river. And I'm curious what would happen if you tried to pole vault across a river that has trees directly on the other side. Like, would it let you? Would it... What would it do? Sometimes fail and fall in our face. <laughs> I still don't know how I feel about camping- or sorry, crafting. It reminds me more of Pocket Camp instead of the mainstream game. I agree. I, I was expecting them to take some elements of Pocket Camp, so. I really hope the tarantula can pull vault too for comedic effect. <laughs> Just takes out this little pole vault, has like all of its legs on it. Not to be a big old gossip, but I heard that Colton was- Okay. He has hooves for starters. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm totally gonna use that to my advantage next time I want something from him. Oh, goodness me. Hey, Lola Bear, how's it going? That's not meant to go there. Are you gonna get Link's Awakening remake for the Switch? Um, I'm planning on it, but I don't think I'm gonna get it right away. Um, I should really be saving up, and I... I haven't told you guys this yet, but I bought Pokemon White version 2. I ordered it off Amazon, and it is probably one of the most expensive used games I've ever bought next to Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, so I, I need to kind of trim back on the expenses there a little bit. But I will eventually. I will eventually. Mm, Golden, if, if you're interested in getting a Switch but you, you're looking for a lower price, maybe look into the Switch Lite? Because that is going to be like a little bit cheaper. Hey Marshall, how's it going? What happens if I pole vault over a river away from a chasing tarantula? I imagine that it's gonna jump over. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, let me see here. Climb and jump off the trees like when Mario does. Oh, when he reaches the flagpole. Gosh, there's so many flowers everywhere that I don't want. <laughs> Some plans for memory today. I honestly don't have any plans. It's getting to the point now with memory where we've done so much that I'm running out of stuff to do. Uh, which really sucks. <laughs> um, so at the moment the only actual concrete plan I have is to put down the Illuminate Clock Public Works project where one of my old flower clocks was. Tips feet for Cube's new catchphrase. <laughs> New town? No, no, this is my last town. I just, um, I don't know. There's only so much you can do, right? Also, Marshall, uh, random just linked to the paths. Those are all the links. I, I didn't make any of them. Massive bunch of leaves going everywhere and then falling into the river. <laughs> 
It'd be a really funny animation. Oh, Pikmin Lover with the five month reset. Thank you. You are one month away from half a year. That's a little bit crazy. Um, and you're absolutely right. Time does fly. Thank you so very much for being here. Okay, so we need, was it two more fossils? Oh, wait, right, right over it. Gosh, I'm so not used to the color of the trees right now. They're so yellow. <laughs> well, Storm says, thank you. It's coming together. I'm really happy with the orchard. Um, the first time I did it, it didn't work out so well, but this time it, it's exactly what I wanted, so I am pleased. <laughs> Oh, cool. Thank you. We're having a lot of uh, gyroids today, I guess it... I don't remember if it was raining last time or not. I assume it was. But yeah, I really do like these new paths. They work well for this town. Um, the only thing I have against them is they kind of remind me... The color scheme kind of reminds me of a stew. And now you guys can't unsee it either. <laughs> uh, Cat, we started with population... Or Sorry, we started with New Leaf. We're probably going to be transitioning into population growing so long as that drilling doesn't keep happening. Uh, Moon Pop Gaming, hello! If Amiibo card functionality is in New Horizons, would you use Bob's Amiibo card? Yes, Bob I think is the only villager at the moment that I'm willing to 100% say he's coming to my New Horizons town if they return with Amiibo functionality the same way. Um, I'm very on the fence about Gesta. I love them. I love them to pieces, but I really want to try new villagers. So, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with that one. Gosh darn it. Never realized how close your reset center is to your town hall. Yeah, we hit it back there on purpose, and I really love the placement of it. Um, took me a while, but it's very, very well hidden. <laughs> and I'm kind of just surrounding it with red roses at the moment. Cool. See, I want coal. Like, you know, there's there's all these villagers where I'm like, oh, I really want them again because I loved having them. But what if there's new villagers or what if there's villagers I haven't had before that I might fall in love with? I think it'd be boring to have the same villagers again and again and again. Or else I would, like O'Hare or random watering. Uh, O'Hare or Midge or Goldie or um, Cole or, or Gaston or like any of my favorites I would have back in an instant. But at the same time, it might be the sort of thing where in my private town I have my old villagers. In the new town we have new villagers. Or vice versa. Ooh, I could actually have put those... Eh, whatever. Shep. Like, there's a lot of villagers. Uh, is the bot not working properly? <laughs> the bot was working. I turned on quotes. <laughs> you honestly don't want any repeat villagers. You have many new villagers and the mystery of who's going to move in. Exactly, right? Like, it. this town, the only thing I felt like it lacked when I was when I've been streaming it is literally just... I, I knew from the start who I wanted to move in instead of being like, oh, I wonder who's coming tomorrow, sort of thing. I know why they're not working. Random's messing around with it. Was it me? Did I do did I do a thing? <laughs> For some reason when I was younger, I had an obsession with Tipper. I couldn't tell you why. It's cool. I think we all have our like childhood favorites that don't really make much sense, I feel it. No worries, Kiki Girl. We'll see you later. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here for now and just dump it with the pile of stuff I have going on. We love shark villagers. I don't really know, like, how would a shark villager walk? Would it be the same as the octopus where it's like, I mean, it's not the same, but like, you know, on their little fins or like, 
How would that work? Oh, oh, Kevin, hi, buddy. Oh, check you out with your earthy knit shirt. I'm so jealous you've got an eye for rare treasures. You think I'm buttering you up? Well, I really want what you've got, so give me a break. Uh, could you please let me trade you for my lacy white tank? Why do you have that first off? <laughs> Second off, okay. I really want aquatic villagers, but like, how would they breed? Yeah, it'd be- there's- like, I have questions about the aquatic villagers, but we already do have octopus and they seem just fine. I have a final fin, yeah. Kevin likes to try on some odd stuff. Kevin's just- he's his free spirit and I- I'm all for that. Can't octopus breathe outside the water? I don't know, I haven't really looked too much into octopus because they kind of freak me out. <laughs> oh, Clementine, that's, that kind of sucks. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully we get some more of those. Uh, great, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing today? Switch over my PC, now I can play WoW and lurk. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh, I didn't show- I don't know if I can actually show you guys this without breaking everything. Um, I showed this to the mods already, but when Mike and I were at the museum, this just reminded me, uh, we saw a familiar face. <gasps> it's on Mike's phone! Gosh darn it, Mike! I'll have to show you guys later. We saw a coelacanth. <laughs> like, the real-life version of it. Um, dead, essentially. Um, and on display, and it was- it was interesting. <laughs> Mike was taking most of the pictures that day because I was legitimately having a no phone sort of day. So. Oh, thank you, Gerwald. Yeah. Wear glass- oh, like the fishbowl helmet sort of thing. Want me to get it? Pepper, um, if you could send it to- m me personally on the Discord, and then I can open it up and show them on my phone. You know, phone days are nice. It was my first time in a very long time being kind of cut off from my channel specifically, and it was really weird, but it was it was an interesting day. They all look bad except for Bob. I like Tom. I, I love Punchy. Punchy's great looking. Uh oh, Straw Cherry. <laughs> Tell your dad to stop fighting with the ghosties. The ghosts did nothing wrong. Maybe. Maybe they're haunting you. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's update our dream. Also, me uses iPad. <laughs> hey, Andrew. How's it going, dude? Sent. Awesome, Pepper. Thank you. Alright, when this is updated, let me try and show you guys our uh, our IRL friend, the Coelacanth. Have an all-cat town. I've been tempted to before, but I don't know if I could get every single type of villager as a cat. You know what I mean? I like having the different personalities. Sorry, I'm not usually on my phone, but I am trying to show you guys something. Can I just download it and then open? Sorry, I'm new to phones apparently. <laughs> Actually, uh, let me... Whoop. And there you go. There's the coelacanth. <laughs> and it's really weird looking IRL. It's like, I don't know, it, it it's colorful in Animal Crossing, let's put it that way. It's very colorful in Animal Crossing. <laughs> in all its glory. Is it actually classed as a fossil? It said something like, uh, a, 
A living fossil? I think that might be from Animal Crossing though. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong description. Mike did take a picture of the description as well, but it's a really small font. I swim so fast away from it. A lot of the stuff that we saw in the museum, I'm like, if I saw that in the water, I wouldn't go in the water anymore. <laughs> like, Hey, Platista, how's it going? Fish are scary though. I, I'm honestly a little bit more scared of what's deep down and because when you think about it, apparently, I don't, I don't know very much about this, but apparently we've done a lot more research into space than we have into our our own ocean because there's there's areas down there that we haven't even been in because it's so deep and so dark <laughs> and there's creatures down there that we don't know about that are living on this planet and that's horrifying <laughs> to me those are the real aliens i'm not scared about stuff in space hey brandon i hope everything's good but uh legit mike and i were going through the animal section of the museum and <laughs> We got to the fish and bugs, and I'm like, I've caught that, I caught that, I caught that, I caught that. All in Animal Crossing. And Mike's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Natural History Museum in New York City. I mainly went for the dinosaur and seeing a full skeleton of it. You know what's funny? Out of all the exhibits at that museum, we completely forgot to go to the dinosaurs. <laughs> we realized just as we were leaving. I think Mike was a little bit sad. There we go. Hey Sakura, how's it going? I think we have maybe two Sakuras in here at the moment, so fair warning. We get a little bit confused. The pressure of the water, yeah exactly, like it's it's hard to go down there, so. To explore our planet first, that's what I always think as well. That's honestly what I always think. I wonder if some museum tour guides are probably used to Animal Crossing fans at this point. <laughs> okay, let's see what TNT Emporium has today. We have a lot of Mun Muns on us, so. Hey Caroline, how's it going? Okay, awesome. So you have more fertilizer, which is what I need. And you also have more bamboo, which is also what I needed. Uh, is it Whisper, Whisper Ghost, maybe? Hello, how are you doing? How long have I had this town? This town was started December 26, 2018, so it's nine months old. I think. <laughs> on the offbeat. Hello, welcome on in. Go to my local museum every year during holiday break with my dad. We hide a piece of paper around the exhibit to test how much they clean. It's not a lot. Oh wow, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, so Midge asked for a new piece of furniture. I might just get her like a rocking horse or something because it's super cute. Is this your favorite ACNL town to date? Yes. Yes. It's it's my ideal town, if you know what I mean. Possible to spend your holidays in a hotel in space, and I'm like, don't we have other things to do first? <laughs> oh man, look at the Sunday hat, you guys. Uh, also, Lou, Lou who? Am I saying your name right? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I want that. I would eat it. I'm not gonna buy it though. It's okay, random. I can't remember my own commands anyway, so... Uh, Ren... Rentruum? I don't know if I'm saying that name right either. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm like getting well usernames today that I'm just failing at pronouncing, I think, so... I got a bit too excited when I got bamboo and didn't maintain it well. And Colton's house is kind of a jungle. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've been very careful with the bamboo this time. No one lurks like Gaston. <laughs> hey, so you're here too, huh? Okay, that's... that's cool. 
Uh, and Marshall, thank you so much for that follow. Don't eat the lamp, listen, Ari. Let me eat my things. <laughs> so we're talking about fish, me and Animal Cross. Sorry, me and Animal Crossing player, Animal Crossing the expert. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't really want any of that. Although that, that yellow and orange tea, that would be really good for a fantasy character. Oh, and you have the glasses I waited like months for. <laughs> also, it's a little bit of shame that Gaston has that command in chat right now, but this Gaston isn't wearing. His Eggman jacket. <laughs> Delightfully devilish mustache. Okay, so let me go ahead and put down the bamboo here. So this side is done. It was this side that needs the extra one. When we're okay, yep, there we go. There's the shovel, finally. No worries, great. It's all good. It's all good. I think I figured out the basis of what you were saying anyway. Sometimes we all just have moments. A whisper, thank you! There we go. Okay. Uh, so if anyone is new here, we are currently trying to get blue roses. We have had some that have been gifted by people, but I'm stubborn and I want to get at least one of my own. Okay, bulls, hello. How's it going? Uh, so that's kind of what this area down here is. <laughs> Ooh, Sartori, enjoy your ice cream. Um, and then this, this is for Midge, so let's go find her. I'm still getting used to my town looking this yellow. I'm so used to it being very vibrant green. Outdoor furniture is going to be huge, but we all know there are going to be some towns that are filled with toilets and creepy dolls everywhere. Oh, 100%. If they let you put creepy stuff outside, the people will. <laughs> It'll be different. Uh, if you guys see Midge, let me know I'm blind. <laughs> Midge, I got your rocking horse. There's Kevin. Hey, Emil, how's it going? I've lost my bird. Where is she? <laughs> Look at you, she's right here in chat. I mean, you know what? That. Hi. That works. But, ooh. But I, I need my, my in game midge. <laughs> Can't wait to make my town full of hay that you can walk through. <laughs> Gonna be some interesting towns, that's for sure. Oh no, Clementine, that sucks. Okay, there's like a villager party happening here, that's cool. Uh, I don't think Mitch was invited somehow. An island full of alpine furniture? Me. That's what I would do. I don't honestly though I think I might kind of be a little bit old-fashioned I might not have like a whole load of furniture outside if you know what I mean that's Colton oh that's cute hey Alex how's it going uh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you would you say that you're more into the ocean or mountains oh a little bit that way so you're more of a mountain person huh well don't just keep it inside argue I'd face the mountains and yell at the top of my lungs Teeps, tips fish. <laughs> I was about to say teeps fish. That's completely wrong. Uh, tips fish. Yep, you should definitely just yell tips fish. Can we get some fish in chat? And by the way, Sabaping is a free to use emote. It's all over Twitch. And you also have my own fish emotes. <laughs> but uh, teeps fish is, is, is different as well. 
Have you checked her house? Uh, we walked by it a couple times. I don't think I saw- yeah. This is her house here. We lost Midge. There we go. There's my fusion chat. <laughs> Will she have wandered to the museum if she asked me for a favor? Or am I just blind? Oh, there's the, the, the pride sabas as well. You can't forget about those. Hey, Sora, how's it going? Bot, do you know where Mitch is? She's somewhere in memory. Oh my god. <laughs> Helpful. Try the beach. Ooh, true, true. Gonna pick up that screen anytime? No. Nope. No, nope, that's staying in there forever. <laughs> Are you hiding? Okay, she's not there. Did she wander down here with my flowers? Sora, thank you so much for the follow. We lost our bird. <laughs> I can't find her. She flew away, but she could only fly like three squares at once, wasn't it? Two squares? From Desert Island Escape? She can't have gotten that far. Use the megaphone, maybe? I'm... I've never bought the megaphone. <laughs> Confession time, never bothered. I kind of like finding my villagers. Where do you play Desert Island Escape? On the Wii U item that you can get from Fortune Cookies and Amiibo. Uh, scan it and things. <laughs> okay. Colton didn't get the memo that they aren't playing hide and seek. I'm gonna check the museum, but I feel like she wouldn't go in here. She had asked me for a favor earlier. Count the days. I talked to her earlier today. She shouldn't have been able to move. In the fish section. It's always where I check first. <laughs> Gonna miss you playing die a bit. I hope that they include a mini game like that in um in New Horizons. Maybe not that exactly, but you know. We've we just lost Midge. She's not in with the fish. I don't know where else she would go. <laughs> Maybe the bugs. On the offbeat, enjoy your lunch, whatever it is you're having. Maybe she got a new job just sitting on top of the bulletin board. <laughs> Cafe. She, she could be in there. I, my villagers don't usually go in there, but... Just occasionally it happens. That thing is massive in here. My goodness. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was like, what is that large shadow? Where are all my villagers? <laughs> Please help. Actually, did we talk? Did we see? We didn't see Eric today either, so we're also looking for Eric at the moment. She may be visiting someone else. But we were also- who- Bob was in his house earlier, and so was Phoebe, and I think that was it. But yeah, we didn't see Eric, and we didn't see- I think that's it, actually. I think we saw everyone else, so. You're not either of the people I'm looking for, but you're still darn cute. <laughs> it's just 
no one in here. Straight up, I fill out this museum. I do everything in my power to fill this, this place out. We are like one bug away from finishing it. And a couple fish and a couple deep sea creatures. And none of my villagers actually visit. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, well there's Eric. Hi. How about you take- No. No, I don't need a break. I need my burb. I don't know much about art, but those paintings look cool to me. I- Okay. Also, just realized this carpet now reminds me of the carpet from The Shining, and I cannot unsee. Just gonna put that out there. Slay Queen. I love that. And then his his catchphrase is oh dear. <laughs> just like half this stream is just me looking for Midge. <laughs> okay, so she wasn't in the museum at all. I didn't see her when I was running around town, but I could have missed her. She can't go in the dream suite. She won't go in there. She won't go in there. Gaston is here. Uh, did we see her while I was shopping? Did I just pass by her and not even think about it? Maybe Gaston knows? Maybe he knows a little bit too much. <gasps> can I tap this? Why can I not interact with that? I can interact with the other ones. Okay. I don't think Mitch really comes in here. Sherry is always in here. As no one is. <laughs> Villagers getting sick is not still a thing. They uh, they removed it in the Welcome Amiibo update. Okay, that's... Yeah, you're you. <laughs> Gracie can't keep up. <laughs> I'm too fast. You can never find your Uchi. Neither Phoebe is usually the hardest one to find for me. Why don't they- oh, well there's Cube. Uh, why don't they get sick anymore? I don't know why they removed that. I actually like that little mini game, but... Yeah, a lot of people didn't realize that they removed it. I didn't realize until someone pointed it out to me. Hey, Beamerette, how's it going? Check your villager house, yeah. Probably the next best bet. I'll, I'll check in with Phoebe. I have a hunch. <laughs> I have a hunch it might be with Phoebe. Uh, Harmonia Cherries, hello, how are you doing? Just on the off chance she had wandered in there. I think it may have been removed because it took them a couple days to get better. I don't know why they just didn't be make it so like the villager is sick for one day, you give them medicine, they're fine the next day. But like, I think it maybe kids wouldn't remember to go back and continue giving medicine. Yeah, right, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Eric is from the museum to the coffee shop. <laughs> when do you get an orange Eggman jacket? Um, I think that was a little while ago. I think I have a couple to- oh my- You best be running. No, I'm joking. I love you. <laughs> what is that hidden item right there? My god. <laughs> uh, let me see. Frog, I missed it. Villagers cannot get sick. The features are moved due to a bug in the system which caused villagers to move away without pinging the player as sickness interfered. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So instead of fixing it, they just removed it. <laughs> She's like, been here all along. She was not there before. 100%. What is this? I'll take it, thank you. 
Also, is this yours, Midge? <laughs> I'm sick. I will leave now. <laughs> hey, Dolphin Ranger. How's it going? Hmm, I can't recall ever seeing this before. All I know is that it's someone else's. Oh gosh, I have hiccups. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Can't fix it, so just remove it. Game free about any any OP Pokemon. <laughs> oh, okay. I buried your time capsule first off. There you go. And is this yours? Are you not freaked out by Phoebe's doll? That one isn't so bad, mainly because it's stuck in a glass case, and I don't believe it can get out. This is how my brain works. <laughs> Alright, Coral, do you have a fantastic day at work? We'll see you later. No, but that that doll in Animal Crossing GameCube, that is pure nightmare fuel. Uh, Sparks, no, but there's a version of this path that has red as well. Blue Bear, how about you? Is this yours? I I used to find it was someone who was in their house, but it's not always the case. I lost my schmancy pouch forever. <laughs> Where do you find it? Literally behind your house, but it's fine. Uh, I keep my favorite makeup inside, so I'm glad to get this back. Thanks for going to all the trouble to finding out- sorry, of finding out who the owner was. I don't have much to give you, thanks, but I hope you won't mind the watering trough. Oh gosh, I guess I'll take it. Did you ever visit the Ica Village? I did, I actually have a video up on, on my YouTube channel of it, which is very old and very dated now. Um, but, but I did, I did. It was, it was pretty spooky. Um, I really- I, I applaud people who do towns like that though, because you're taking a game like Animal Crossing, which is very family friendly, very cute, very colorful, and making it dark and spooky. And that's hard to do, so it's pretty cool. Oops. Uh, Matsuri, thank you so much for the host. Much appreciated. You even have to see horror movies with dolls. Watch Toy Story and you'll know the glass case will not hold the doll back. It's true. I like to think they're not as smart as the Toy Story dolls, though. I'm air hair. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. And dear Callie, welcome on in. How are you doing? And Golden, we'll see you later. Enjoy your dinner. Your couch instead of pouch? I was very confused. <laughs> Oh, Amelia, I know the pain. I know the pain. It's hard to find Nintendo games for decent prices, especially older ones. They tend not to go down in price. Um, alright, so I don't really want either of those. My phone just made a really weird noise. No clue what that was. <laughs> Astral Chain died so fast, did someone play it and have opinions on it? Mike is still playing through it, and from what I've heard, he's enjoying it a lot. But, uh, he's also been playing a bunch of other games at the same time, so he's been kind of torn in several different directions. Underground, looking basement with torture stuff and like, paper scattered around, old boxes in a dentist chair and IV, mushrooms and dirt floors, if to imply that folks who didn't Hey, the nook's back gets dragged down there. Oh boy. There we, we did it, guys. We got Mike into an AC game. He already liked Assassin's Creed, so close enough. Uh, all right. So I want to put down a certain clock here. This one. Um, 
we're doing like an illuminated section of my town because I've never used the illuminated stuff before and I'm really excited to try it. Mike loved his time playing Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. He likes any game he's better at me at. <laughs> Oh no, Cat. Well, I hope you rest well. I, I totally feel you. I was struck with really bad allergies last night as well. But I blame that on the fact that I was given Tiger a cuddle before bed and then I touched my face, which is a dumb move. Oops, nope, that's too far down. Hey Lucas, I'm doing pretty good, how about you? Here we go. So this area of town isn't going to look so special during the day, but I really feel like this town is better for like twilight or nighttime. Uh, so if I save during the night, I think it'll look pretty, pretty nice. And Lucas, thank you so much for that host. Okay, so let's pay off at least a bit of it. Hey, Megatron, yeah. We, I, th I forget who suggested this. Someone suggested this last, uh, last week. Okay, so we have 46 left. Uh, Clementine, if you're talking about the sea bass versus the coelacanth, generally the coelacanth is slimmer and, like, more pointy, if I remember correctly. It's a very large fish, but I think it's more pointy in the- in the front. Emma, that- <laughs> That emote is so cute. <laughs> I hope to be half as cool as that emote. Oh gosh. Mm. Okay, uh, so let's go pay off this. And then what I think we might do after is we have the mitten crab to catch um, and then two deep sea creatures, all of which were available starting September 15th. So I think we might time travel forward a little bit and do that just because I'm kind of in, in the mood to do that and finish off September stuff. <laughs> I swear to God, Midge, you're like, you're teleporting today and I don't know how you're doing it, but it, it's all good. I still love you. Okay, pay off the remaining 46. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope this area looks really nice at night. It is, I've mentioned before, it is my first time using the illuminated stuff, so. Happy 17 years of Kingdom Hearts, dear Callie. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Gosh, it, it hit me right in the feels when I saw that today. <laughs> Best of luck, bad foot, best of luck. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick save and quit. And I'm gonna time travel forward. Um, so we're looking for the mitten crab, which is available in the river, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. September 15th through to November. And we're also looking for the sweet shrimp and the spiny lobster, both of which are available in the ocean. Obviously they're diving. <laughs> so give me a second. I know I can time travel in game before anyone says it. I'm very much aware. Hey, Giraffe Raff, how's it going? Is that Rainbow Suit a QR design? Could I get the code? Thank you. I didn't make it. Uh, random in chat did, but um, yeah, it is a QR code. 
Uh, so we're gonna set the time to... Uh, 9 p.m. I think, so that'll be... 21? I used to not know the 24-hour clock, and now I'm a little bit better <laughs> after working in transportation for like a year. Oh, random's upstairs. Okay, no worries. Give me a second. You can time travel in game. <laughs> Do tomorrow so we can see the clock. No, no, no. Next, next, next stream. That's gonna be something we're gonna do on Saturday. Wait, even one bell helps proceed to donate 300,000 bells. <laughs> You've lived with the 24 hour clock all your life. Yeah, I really had to learn it with my last job. Um, I, I had no clue about it beforehand. GG, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Well, come on in. Okay, so the mitten crab is in the river. This is tarantula and scorpion music as well. So hopefully we don't run into a or a scorpion, I should say. There it is. Um, and it says it's in the river. I don't know how big the, the mitten crab is. I don't really know what to expect, <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Uh, NBC Nate, we've been live for just over an hour. It's not too late. Gotten the diving creatures. That's this other thing we're gonna be doing right now. It's small? Okay. Pretty tiny. Oh, is that it? It'd be really nice if we could get lucky right off the bat and just not have to worry about this. Because I'm- if you guys have been here for a while, you know I'm horrible at diving. <laughs> uh, the deep sea creatures are like one of my arch nemesis at this point. I think I missed that one. Scuttle, scuttle. <laughs> If it's hard, hurts my thumb. Same here. Same here. Hey Zelda, how's it going? Welcome on in. And Chloe, welcome back. How are you doing today? It's nice to see my path though at night, though. We haven't seen that so far. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. It blends in very well. Love the 9 p.m. music so much. It reminds me. Of a dino? I... I just think tarantula and scorpion when I hear this music. Where'd it go? I'm bl oh, okay. Uh, I have a lot of trouble seeing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wait, did that not scare it away? How did that not scare it away? What is this? How did that not- okay. I'll take it. That's not what I want. <laughs> I'll enter an elf. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. Welcome back. If we could change our rivers and new horizons in some way. I don't know how they would do that, but I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against it either. And Cake Batter Owl, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Cute baby dino trying to find something to eat. Oh, that's adorable. Dude, that's a really cute image. Zelda, thank you so very much for the host. Much appreciated. The game is now your time, IRL. <laughs> You're the only channel I follow online. That's a first. I wonder where- if, uh, it's a Tuesday. I don't know, I find Sundays are generally the most quiet days on Twitch for me, at least for my follow- follow list. <laughs> uh, you're not what I need either. That's not really that small, but I guess I'll try and fish it up anyway. I could have sworn the mitten- 
Are we sure the mitten crab is in the river? For some reason I thought it might be in a pond, but I might be thinking of something else. Okay, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. It's never really a quiet day, only in my mornings. Everyone has just disappeared. Maybe it was fantasy doing me a favor. Uh oh. Uh oh, we better be careful. <laughs> if fantasy be not is knocking people off Twitch. It is in the river. Okay. Oh, Clementine, are you mad? I wish I was good at diving. I'm just horrible at it. So days are really quiet for you, too. Oh, found it. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. So, that means we only have one fish left. One fish, and we can catch it in November. How crazy is that? That's weird. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go donate it real quick. I think we did something. Like a Twitch day off? Yeah, no, I feel that. Every now and then is good to have a day off. 1 a.m. theme reminds me of Cry because I can't get to sleep, but 2 a.m. is the acceptance of that. <laughs> hey, Duddles, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I'm really unfamiliar with the New Leaf and most Animal Crossing actually soundtracks beyond, like, let's say 11 p.m. Um like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., those are all so foreign to me because I am I usually sleep pretty well through the night. I don't stay up late, usually. I'm very much a daytime person. <laughs> oh, no, Padfoot, hopefully everything's okay. What were you doing? Just standing up? Just to donate to save abuse animals commercials to help us understand emotion. Oh, Cece, those are so hard to watch. I wouldn't even want to watch them one in class and two back to back if there was multiple. Okay, so that was that done. Um, let me go ahead and organize this first off. <laughs> that wasn't even my right order, but it's fine. Right, it's Tuesday. Why did I think it was Saturday? I'm doing that thing again. <laughs> I was really confused why there was music coming out of uh, uh, Club LOL. Was it your left order then? Yes. Yes, it was. Horrible ankles. Any wrong move. Oh, that really sucks. I'm sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go grab our diving suit. And for diving creatures, we are looking for the spiny lobster. Oh, I done messed up. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. I done messed up. There we go. I deleted the wrong thing. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. Looking for the sweet shrimp and the spiny lobster. So a large shadow and a smaller shadow. So motivated to complete New Horizons Encyclopedia since I haven't completed one fully yet and the laziness does play into it. I, uh, I'm looking forward to completing New Leaf. New Leafs Encyclopedia, and then from the start of New Horizons, like, have a list, really, like, you know, try and finish it. Hey, King Broski, how's it going, dude? Um, alright, let's grab this wetsuit. Oh, CC! Was it, is that our second sub, baby? Am I counting right? Thank you so very much for continued support, Cece. I hope you continue to enjoy hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I'm gonna put some love in chat actually while I'm not diving. <laughs> Ooh, hi buddy. I'm way excited. I've decided that it's time to change my catchphrase. You know how I say tips wig all the time? Oh, he's had tips wig forever. Respect for KK Cruz and heck yeah, that's one of the best songs. <laughs> Can we get a catchphrase for Colton, you guys? It has to be tip something. That's my only. Currently, he's tipping wigs. I wouldn't mind. Actually, I don't think Snatch will fit for Snatch and wigs. <laughs> Tips hoof. Actually, that kind of works because that kind of works <laughs> from from earlier. Tips mullet. <laughs> Since they're ticklish. Tips ears to. I, I think we'll do tip hoof. Uh, and we have some visitors come- oh, tips who? We only have room for three. Uh, cute skitty, thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? What were you guys playing? Welcome on in. Rebel Trooper, hello! Welcome on in here. Cute skitty raid. Gosh, those emotes are adorable. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I think we'll just keep it at tips- tips wig. For now. Because we don't have much room and I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Hey, Yuki Cross, how's it going? Welcome on in, you guys. Welcome on in. I hope you guys had a fantastic stream uh, with Cute Skitty. Okay. Also, hi, Leash. <laughs> Looking up your Twitch apps, apparently, two most used hashtags in these streams are hashtag Team UK and hashtag Team Tesco. And it's probably used by like the same couple people. <laughs> you guys be crazy. It's all good. Clean the leaf, but my frames kept dropping every two minutes. Oh gosh, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. Well, welcome on in, you guys. Um, if you guys are new, my name is Crystal. We play a lot of New Leaf here. We usually play Animal Crossing on. That's not what I wanted. On Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and at the moment, we're trying to work on our encyclopedia a little bit. There's two deep sea creatures I can get. Uh, starting right now. Or starting September 15th, I guess. <laughs> Good luck with the lobster one. That one took you forever. Oh, gosh. Okay. I, I really don't like diving very much, so that should be fun. So I'm watching my cousin each week. I get paid at the end of each, so after this week I can replace my right Joy-Con. Very nice! I'm happy to hear that. Fourth chop chatter overall with 12k messages. I didn't even make top three. Oh, we were- I was looking at my own Twitch stats a little while ago and I was kind of giggling with Red at the fact that she's top chatter and her top command was exclamation mark quote, I think? Something like that? And it was- she was fighting with the bot. <laughs> Which we thought was funny. Large and skittish. Okay. Ah, uh, panda lover. I find going at a rhythm makes you move a bit faster, but I'm also not really good at diving, so. Darn nightbot. <laughs> got the orange wetsuit the other day, so now I've got orange and pink. Very nice. We have a pink and a black one, but I usually tend to use the black. Uh, Chloe, thank you so much for the sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes. I hope you enjoy your star- star? Oh, that is heart uh, badge in chat, and thank you so much for, for the support. That means the world to me. Thank you. Welcome on into the starters. <laughs> I always forget to say that, so I'm trying to get it in my head. And by the way, if you guys are new here, you don't have to- ooh. Oh, this might be it. Um, you guys definitely don't have to use the hearts and stuff like that. My emotes when we're spamming love. You can use any ones. You can use the standard Twitch ones. Whatever you got. Is this it? I got this. I got the lobster. <laughs> Yay! You had the pink one on your main before. Oh wait, your dog ate your cartridge. We have we had this conversation before. That seems very familiar. Uh. 
day I figure I don't have to press the joystick forward while you swim changed my whole life, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, that's not it. I just got back. Must send love. It's alright, you're not too late, Andrew. I have autism in my world. It's hard to find a perfect job for me that doesn't- Oh, that doesn't stress you out. No, 100%. And honestly, finding a job that suits you is probably really important. Of course, keeping yourself financially afloat, also very important. But, you know, if you're gonna be there every day, you wanna, like, you know, not be too stressed. You wanna actually somewhat enjoy it. And there's the sweet shrimp. There we go. So now we only have two deep sea creatures left. Uh, the red king king crab, which I think is going to be the last one we catch, maybe? No, sorry, the s- Ooh, no, no, don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> but the spider crab is going to be the last one, which is only available March through the April. So yeah, there's some more- there's some more deep sea creatures caught. Also a weird looking fella. I think a lot of the deep sea creatures are, yeah. That was quick. That was a really good hunt. Like, usually it takes us a long time, but... See, it's days like these where I catch stuff really quickly. I'm like, I should go back to shiny hunting. I should go and boot up Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and just shiny hunt and see what I can get. <laughs> oh, Chachary, I feel that. So am I. <laughs> You're like, I'll do it on Switch. Yeah, this is, this is like the last town I'm going to be doing for New Leaf, at least before New Horizons, so... Um... It's kind of become a thing where, like, I need to finish the game. I use quotation marks because it's, like, finish in my mind, not necessarily officially. You want to shine hunt too lately? Yeah, so, do, so have I, but I've been putting it off because I'm like, I know I'm just going to start and then I'm going to want to play something else on my Switch and then I'm going to have to turn off the game, which resets your, your uh, catch counter and stuff like that. <laughs> Ah, uh, Panda Lover, thank you. I hope I hope you find them soon. I really do. You'll have more shiny luck than me. You still haven't found the shroomish. All right, cool. That was that was very fast. Um, was not expecting. I actually started a new town today. I hope I remember to actually play tomorrow. You mean in in, uh, in New Leaf, Andrew? Also, uh, sorry, on the top of your shiny hunting, for Pokemon fans in here, do you guys know if, if I was to trade, or sorry, I guess I should say, sh can I trade Pokemon from Let's Go into, Sword and Shield, do we know what Pokemon are accepted in Galar yet? Or. <laughs> I was watching Hylian stream. Oh, true, true. I was lurking in there this morning as well. Oh no, Clementine, you go adult. You go show that adulting who's boss. We don't know yet. Okay, so. I want a shiny hunt and I want to get all these shinies that I can transfer over, but I don't know if they're going to allow me to transfer them yet. Actually, I should probably get rid of my axe. I don't need that on me. <laughs> Just temptation. Island's become part of my morning routine. Same here. Same here. I'm glad you guys are all watching him. He's a fantastic streamer. Um, can talk for ages and I don't know how he does it. I wish I had that, that ability to keep stuff going. I just kind of get quiet <laughs> after a while. And he's very, very well spoken. I hope Badoof is isn't one of them you mean random. <laughs> you caught a shiny Gyarados in crystal. That's still cool. Like I'm just saying. Also, Andrew, you got Nate? You must appreciate him and his singular eyebrow. He's lovely. You work early shifts, yeah. He does occasionally do later night streams. I think Saturdays and another day, maybe? I'm 
Okay. So that's all good. Is it Monday? I don't know. I don't know what day it is most of the time. We all know this. Um, so guys, what I'd like to do now uh, is I want to go ahead and switch on over. Um, I've done everything I want to do in New Leaf for today, so I'm thinking we're going to switch on over and we're going to play some Animal Crossing GameCube. Um, if you guys are heading out, if you're not too interested or if you have something else to do, that's totally cool. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are hanging out, give me like five-ish minutes to switch on over and do stuff like that. <laughs> um, and I will be back with uh, with more fantasy goodness. So give me like five minutes, you guys.